City Hill and Mansum Tody. I've been asked to be part of your devotions. Uh, I was reminded and have been reminded many, many times through this lockdown of the power of the gospel. I have, as I have roamed around the city and prayed with people over fences and delivered aid in different parts of the city, I have just been absolutely amazed at how the gospel is at work. Uh, so often in our local churches at this time, we, we think only maybe about our community and our lack of ability to meet. And somehow it, it makes us feel like the gospel is restricted and that we're not able to communicate in the ways that we used to. And that, of course, is true. We're not. But the, the gospel has never lost its power. Uh, in Romans chapter 1, we know the scripture well where it speaks of uh, that, this, that the gospel, that we're not to be ashamed of it, but that it is the power of God until salvation. That uh, the, the power of the gospel continues to work. And I think we need to lean into the idea every single day that God will provide opportunities for us to pray with people, to minister to people, to allow the gospel to work in ways that we never thought was possible. That actually uh, people are incredibly open at this time to the gospel. So let us uh, begin the idea again, rethink, reimagine again the idea that God could be working through us in, in very special ways. It says in 1 Peter 4, uh, that the, the gospel of God or the grace of God is to be manifested through our lives in a multifaceted and multiple different ways. And, and I think at this time we're to, ex we're to explore the idea that there are many, many different ways that the gospel comes through our lives and is manifest through our lives. Let's begin to look at the multifaceted uh, nature of God's grace that there are ways to reach our neighbor, there are ways to talk to people, there are ways to make phone calls, there are ways to live our lives in front of the, the communities in which we're in that actually will begin to speak to them about the power of the gospel. So this day I want to remind you about that. It's just become so clear to me that the gospel has never lost its power. That beautiful old song that speaks of that. Let's be reminded of that today. And as you go about your day, that you would begin to see opportunities, even if you're locked away at home, that maybe an email, maybe a voice note, maybe a call will begin to see the gospel working through your life into your friends, into your community, into your neighbor. People are incredibly open at this time. Let us use that opportunity, use that openness to begin to see the gospel working through our lives. God bless you, City Hill. It's great to be speaking to you this morning. Have a wonderful day.